Whoa! Jeff Williams here with SJeffWilliams.com. I'm gonna show you how to set up a sluice box and get the gold yourself. So I want you to pay attention because there's a lot of things I need to teach you. So we're gonna head down the creek, get some gold, and call it a day. So come on, let's go. Yeah. Excellent! Yay! If you're gonna be using a sluice box, first thing you need to do, have a sluice box. This is a Keen A52, I love these things. I've been using these type for years. Now I know they make all different types, but I really like this one. Next, you're gonna need a five gallon bucket. Now I've seen guys do it without a five gallon bucket, but trust me, this makes it a whole lot easier. Inside a five gallon bucket, you're gonna be needing all your prospecting tools. I got me a little pick hammer. You gotta have a spoon, I'm telling you. A little trowel, a little digging tool. This is a nail remover that I got at Lowe's. It's great for crevicing, digging in there. And speaking of crevicing, I got my crevicing tool with a little spoon on the end. And I got my Phillips screwdriver for getting down in those cracks. I got my classifier. I'm using a number four today. If you're gonna be using a sluice box, you gotta classify your material down before you dump it in there. And of course, you gotta have one of these snuffer bottles. That way you can get the gold out of there. And of course, my favorite, mwah, my Garrett Super Sluice. I don't go anywhere without it. I'm gonna take you down in the creek and I'm gonna show you how to set this up properly. So come on. Let's go. First thing you want to do is you want to find a spot in your creek or your river where the water's flowing good but not too fast. But I'm going to go up here where it widens out and it's got a nice flat base where I can stick this on. You're going to need one of these big flat stone. It's because you're going to put that flat stone over the top of your sluice box just like that. Keep your sluice box from floating down the river with all your gold and it ain't no good. So we're going to go up the creek here, set it all up and then I'll show you what to do next. So come on, let's go. All right, now this looks like a good place right here. Nice and wide, the river's not too turbulent, the creek. See how that water wants to take that downstream? You're gonna put that flat rock on top of it like that. It keeps it from flowing downstream. I'm gonna go ahead and level this up. The rule of thumb on a sluice box should have a one inch drop for every foot of sluice. Now I'm working with about three feet of sluice box, not including the flare. So I'm gonna have about three inches of drop on this box in the water, and that'll create the proper flow. Now as far as the amount of water on top, I've seen some guys run it a foot underwater and it still works for them. I like to have mine with about halfway sticking up out of the water. So come on. Let's go. Okay, now, what a lot of guys like to do is if they don't have enough water pressure in their creek or stream, they'll build up a dam, an artificial dam out of rocks and sand and whatever they can find. And what that does, it acts like a giant funnel and it forces the water into your sluice box. So if you're having water flow problems and you'll know that when you go to dump that dirt in there, it don't move through there very fast. What you can do is build an artificial dam like this uh, across the creek on both sides. Now, I got good water flow here, so I'm happy with just this one wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and sample some dirt and put it in there and see if we got anything. So come on, let's go. Yeah, if you look right here, you can see I got all this nasty overburden. I got a gravel zone and I got hard pack. Now the gold that's in this creek is probably washing out of here. And you can see all these layers of gravel. Now what I'm gonna do is, best place to dig is where this gravel here meets the hard pan because gold ain't gonna go any further below. So you're gonna worry about this lower level here. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this bucket back, the sluice box. I don't think I'm gonna have to classify it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to make sure that it doesn't clog up my sluice box. And see if we got any gold out of here. I'm pretty sure we did, cause that's all hard pan. And so I'm gonna take it back. So come on, let's go. All right, now get your little scoop and scoop it in nice and slow. Give that water a chance to do its job. Just like that. Now, if I got any big gold, it's gonna pop out on this rubber mat. And I'll see it right away. That's why I put my rock right down from the rubber mat so I can take a peek inside and see if I got anything right away. You can see where some of the little specks of gold are starting to come out onto the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About 13 colors in there. After I do this, I'm gonna show you how to do a cleanup. And then that's hopefully where we get the real gold. So come on, let's go. We're going to take the rock off the sluice box. Now be careful, because that water is going to try to push it downstream. And if you got any gold, it's in your sluice. You don't want to lose that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot at the very end of the sluice box like this. And then you're going to lift up on that rock. That way your sluice don't drive down the river. See how my sluice box walks up out of the river? See that? Nice and easy. And you're going to pick it straight up out of the river like that. Don't tilt it forward or backward too much, because you might lose some gold. And then you're going to take it over to a nice flat spot. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is set that sluice box off to the side. 
Don't let it get away from you now. You're gonna take your sampling bucket, put some water in it. Set that off to the side too. That way you don't want to float away. So what you're gonna do, take the riffles out. You got a clamp on this side, you got a clamp on this side. Just like that, see that? You gotta take those riffles out. Be, be gentle with that. And put them in your bucket like that. And you're gonna take your gold pan, fill it up with water. And you're gonna wash it off. That's how you're gonna wash off your, your riffles. Do the head first. Turn it upside down. And do the tail piece second. The reason why is because if there's any gold, it'll be trapped here in the first riffle, not down on the other end. Gold will always drop off in the first third of your box. So cut your box into threes. Most of your gold will be in the first third of the box. You're gonna get your expanded metal. The head in first. Always wash the head first. Flip them upside down. Same thing. Make sure there's nothing left on them. Next, you're gonna do the carpet. Is you're gonna take the carpet from the very back of the box, the tail section. You're gonna grab it. You're gonna just gently roll it up like a big burrito. And you're gonna keep that steady and you're gonna put that burrito inside your bucket. Just like that, see that? Now you're gonna act like a wash machine. Up and down, round and round. Take your carpet, flip it inside out like this. See that, there's where your, your pleats are and that's the side that is inside the box. You're gonna put that in and you're gonna do one of these numbers just like that. And that opens those pleats up. Gets that little fine gold out of there. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Now the sluice box itself, you gotta be careful because remember, those big chunky pieces of gold, they're sitting up there in that rubber mat. And ever so gently, you're gonna take that sluice box and you're gonna put it inside your bucket just like that, see that? And then you're gonna get some water out of your river or your creek and you're gonna gently run some water over it just like that, see that? You want to get all that gold that might be stuck in there out of those little ribs in the rubber padding. Just like that. That's a clean sluice box. Now we got concentrates in this bucket. I'm going to show you what to do next. I already think you know what I'm going to do. Now, remember what I told you. Screen down your concentrates. It'll make panning a whole lot easier and that's what we're going to do. I got my number four, but you can use the number ten depending on how small that gold is in the area you're working. Dump him out over that, just like that. Get some more water, just like that. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Woo, look at all that black sand. <laughs> Woo wee. I just know I got gold out of this one. All right, you wanna make sure that whole bucket's clean. You gonna screen that down. On top of your gold pan, make sure it's sitting on your gold pan now. What you're gonna do, you look inside that screen. If there's gold, trust me, it'll stick out like a sore thumb. I don't see no gold in there, but I'm gonna check him out later. Okay, I got a whole day's worth of work right here in the pan. So I'm gonna take this. This is called your concentrates or your cons. And you're gonna take it over to the creek, a nice place where there's not a lot of current and you're gonna pan it out. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. Nice and gentle. Round and round, side to side. Nice and gentle. You're using a Garrett Super Sluice. Trust me, you ain't gonna lose no gold. Stratify that material gently. I can see a ton of black sand in there. Tons of it. Stratify that material. Back and forth, nice and easy. Don't get all crazy with it. Okay, that's about far down as I wanna go. 
All right, come here. Let's see if I got anything. All right. See all that black sand I was talking about? There's a ton of it in there. See that? All right. I'm going to gently swirl that. Or what is that? I don't think that's gold. I don't think that's gold. That ain't gold. I hope I got gold. Come on now. Oh, that, hey, I see a piece. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's some more. Oh, I can't wait. I got to shake it down. See what I got. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's some other load, baby. Woo, yeah. That's some gold. Oh, I tell you what, nobody's got gold like California. Look at all that. There's my finger right there so you can see the comparison. Oh, man, I'm going back to that spot. I'll be working that for about a week. Woo. Okay, now, be gentle with your pan. And what you're going to do now is you take your snuffer bottle and you're going to tap that gold to the front. Oh, that's so nice. Man, that's nice. Okay, now I tapped it to the front using that tapping action. I'll do it again. Okay, now what that does, look at that. Ain't that pretty? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> yeah! Okay, now you take your snuff bottle and you run that water to the front like such. And you're going to use that snuff bottle. You push in on it and create a vacuum. Now watch, I'm going to suck all that gold up. All that beautiful gold. It acts like a little vacuum cleaner. Then you push the air out by squeezing it and suck in again. See that? All the gold's gone out of my pan. And it's inside my snuffer bottle. Don't lose your snuffer bottle. Okay, I'm gonna go over that again to see if I got any fines. I got a couple fines in there. So I'm gonna tap that again. Squeeze. Don't worry, the gold ain't coming out. It's got a trap in the end to keep the gold from coming out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love gold. All right, I'm gonna put this back in my bucket. I'm gonna go through those black sands again because there could be some really fine gold in there. Maybe something I missed. Woo wee, I'm ready to go to town and give me something to eat. I don't know about you, but mining, man, I tell you what, mining make an old man out of you real fast. And if you love today's adventure, please rate, share, unsubscribe. And as always, leave me and Slim a comment. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams. We got ShipWilliams.com saying Sluice Box got you stumped and you're not really sure what to do. Follow my simple steps and you'll have a YouTube. Take care, everybody. Are you ready, sweetie? Yeah. Okay.